For this first one, you were asked to find a like denominator or a closer denominator to compare the fractions. So here you were given the fractions 6 eighths and 4 fifths. Now remember, whatever we do to one, we have to do to the other. Well, on this one, I'm going to say, well, let's do this. Let's try dividing by two. Now remember, whatever we do with one of those, we have to do with the other. So that would then change this to six, excuse me. Let me take that out. Three, because six divided by two is three, and eight divided by two is four. And then we're comparing it to four fifths. Well, by doing that, that does make it definitely a lot easier for us to go and then compare those fractions. So, now we have 3 fourths or is less than 4 fifths because the 4 fifths would be smaller pieces, but there's more of them, versus the 3 fourths, you would have basically one of those cut in half. So, that's how I would solve this one. I'm going to do one more this way before we look at another uh, step to do. We've got 3 fifths and 7 tenths. Now remember, you can divide or you can use multiplication. But what you do to the numerator, you also do to the denominator. The downstairs, D for downstairs, denominator. All right, see what you can come up with on the next one. Good luck.